All right, today we're going to look at how to use App Script to save data from a simple form like this in Google Sheets to a table or database format in a different tab. So I have a quick form set up here. So let's go ahead and set up a database tab. We're gonna go ahead and call this database. Let's go ahead and grab our fields here. And then I'm just going to do transpose. Let's go ahead and clear that formatting. Let's go ahead and set up some custom formatting real quick here, just to make it look nice. Center these, let's get rid of these extra columns and go ahead and unlock this header. All right, so that's enough for now. And let's go ahead and dive into App Script and see what we need to get this done. So we'll create a new project. We'll just call this form script. And then before we get started, I'm gonna add something here at the top. And this is going to keep the permissions from asking us for more than we need. This at only current doc, when we run this script and ask permissions, it's going to give us a simplified um, version there. So you'll see that here in a moment when we get to that point. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a function here, just rename this to save form. Let's go ahead and get our spreadsheet. So I'm just doing let SS equal spreadsheet app get active spreadsheet. So let's go ahead and get our form sheet. We'll call this form SS get sheet by name form and database equals SS get sheet by name database. All right, so now we have our main spreadsheet and then both of our tabs. So now all we need to do is get our form data and then save it to our database. Let's actually call this database. All right, so let's do let data equal form dot get range. And then let's figure out what we need for our range. So let's find our starting cells. So this is column E in row five. So one, two, three, four, five. So we need five and five for our start. And then and let's just do form dot get last row and then minus four. So that minus four is offsetting from a five there. So we just need less one. And then one column, and let's do get values. And then I'm gonna do something here flat, and this is going to transpose our get values into a flat so we can paste it into our database. So database get range, and then we want database get last row. So this will add it to the bottom um, and I'm doing plus one. So it's not the last row, but the row, uh, the new row. Start with column one. And then here we want the number of rows, which is one. And then number of columns. Let's just call it data length. And then set values. And then with this flat, it's gonna turn this array into a different format. I'm gonna do a different video at some point to kind of go more in depth on arrays and how that works because this could be very confusing for a lot of people. But um, if you use this as is, um, flat, and then um, wrap this in this brackets, um, this will work as is. And then finally, once we've gotten our data over there, we just want to clear our range in our form. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this same range here. Instead, I'm gonna do clear content. So this is all we need here. Let me just add another function real quick called on open and let's make a menu. So I'm just gonna make a super simple menu. Create menu, let's call script menu and then add item. Let's do save form and that's gonna be the title and then I have to make a reference to the actual um, function name there and then add to UI. All right, so this is all that we need in the script. So we go back to here, we can hit refresh. Here in a moment, we should have that menu populate. So in the meantime, I'm just going to populate some sample data.
two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, oh. All right, so we have some sample data in here now. You can see this script menu popped up here. And so if we hit say form, this is the authorization flow I mentioned before. And this is just giving the script access to access the spreadsheet. Because basically there are two different things and they just gotta interact. So here we can log into our Google account. And then this is the part that I was talking about before. Because we did that only current doc, it's given the simplified flow. Otherwise we'd have a little more complicated flow um, that I cover in my how to authorize scripts. So let's go ahead and hit allow. Authorization is successful and it disappears. So you notice nothing happened. And that's because the first time um, when you authorize, nothing actually runs, it just authorizes it. So now if we hit save form, now the script should actually run. See the data disappears. If we go to a database, we can see that data is now showing up in the correct columns, just like that. So we can go ahead and adjust this a little bit, make these right width, and there we go. That's all it takes.